If you think your cupa was made in a coffee maker in under two minutes, think again. Hello there, I am a proud Arabica coffee bean. My journey has been long and I have passed through many hands. Farmers, traders, shippers, insurers. The coffee supply chain has too many stakeholders. Have you ever wondered about my lineage? Did you know it has always been near impossible to track where or how your coffee was made? Until recently, when blockchain technology took over and brought accountability into the supply chain. Today, you can trace your coffee's journey from Brazil, India or Indonesia from the very beginning. Are you enjoying my story? Let's move on to the next phase and look at the planting process. Miguel, my farmer, although a tad rough, was a great guy. He planted me in the best possible soil, protected me from harsh sunlight and nourished me with water. He waited patiently until I was strong enough to brave the outside world before replanting me. Replanting took some time and getting used to my snoring neighbor took even longer. Let's move on to the next phase of my life. Here's where I met Mr. Inspector for the first time. Pulling and twisting my arms and legs, he poked and prodded every bit of me and recorded all my details, including my type, fertilizers used, farm and family I came from and stamped my tamper-proof origin certificate digitally. Then began my happy hours at the spa, or what Miguel calls harvesting and processing. I was plucked, hauled, polished, graded, sorted, oh, bliss. All these, while registration details, crop information such as variety, temperature, and humidity were being recorded. Finally, after getting stamped with a quality certificate, I was sent off to the next phase of my life, transportation. Want to join me in my next phase? Let me warn you, it's a rocky road ahead. <laughs> the journey began with insurance. I was insured well. In case something happened to me, at least Miguel wouldn't lose his livelihood. Shipping was hard though. I had to say goodbye to many of my brothers before hopping into the Cisal bag. After a long journey, I reached the party central, the warehouse. I met so many other coffee beans from across the world and just chilled for a while. While I was partying, blockchain ensured that shippers delivered me to the right address. Miguel got paid in real time and the importer got his delivery on time. This brings us to the last phase in my journey. You are now very close to your hot steaming Koopa. I took a nice long sauna bath at the perfect temperature to retain my aroma, while the roaster recorded my details. Then, when I winked at you from the supermarket shelf, we both knew it was love at first sight. So, that's my life in a nutshell. It's all because of blockchain that you are sure of the authenticity of my origins. It has brought transparency into this dynamic demand chain. Blockchain ensures that nothing gets in the way of brewing your perfect shot of espresso. Take our trivia test, and when you are done, use the app next to the coffee maker to enjoy your steaming cupa with the goodness of blockchain.